Hello there and welcome to this brief overview video for compositing in Nuke with Rebelway. I'm your instructor, Nick Chamberlain, and by the time we're done with this course, we'll have completed seven shots together from start to finish, with three of them being entirely CGI. The shots that were filmed for this course are not your typical straightforward tutorial shots. They exhibit a lot of the real world problems that compositors face on a daily basis. This course not only focuses on how to use Nuke, but also on essential compositing theory so we can approach our shots in the most efficient way and have a guide to make them look as realistic as possible. And thinking like a compositor is critical because after all, Nuke is just a tool for us to use. In our very first shot, we'll be doing a very simple split screen composite so we can get familiar with Nuke. We'll be combining multiple pieces of footage together and also doing a very basic paint out so that we can get familiar with how Nuke works. We'll also take a quick intro to compositing theory here so we know exactly what to look for as we're merging our images together. Next up in week two, we'll be tackling these two green screen monitors and we'll be putting some images in there and we'll learn how to key. We're gonna run into a lot of common issues you see with keying here and so it's gonna be a great learning experience and we're gonna to have to learn a little bit how Nuke works under the hood in order to fix these problems. We're gonna take a closer look at the theory of edge detail and everything we're looking for when we're doing a key. Then once we have these monitors all set and done, we're gonna move on to week three, where we are going to do a character green screen replacement. This is all green and we're gonna learn a lot about how to deal with hair, how we can deal with glasses. There's a lot of fine details in this shot that could make it very tricky and we're gonna learn how to tackle all of them. In this week, we're also gonna be taking a look at gizmos. We're gonna install our very own Rebelway gizmo pack over here. And this is a collection of custom nodes that I love and we'll also learn how to make our own gizmo. In this case, we're gonna learn a little bit about the theory of how lenses work, what lens effects we can want, and we'll replicate these in our own custom gizmo. Then we'll move on to week four where we're gonna start dealing with CGI and there's a lot to cover here. This is the shot we'll end up completing, but we're gonna be looking at a lot of different aspects of CG and how to combine different layer properties together, how to shuffle things out. We're gonna look into light passes and how to combine these in multiple different ways. We're also gonna take an in-depth look at practically applying color space, which is one of the more confusing topics when you're getting into Nuke, but it's so critical to understand. So we're gonna focus on the practical aspects of understanding color space. Then we're gonna move on to week five, which will be the beginning of our fully CG shots. We have this one in front of us right here, and we're gonna learn how to combine multiple CG elements together in an incredibly efficient and flexible way, so that if you're modifying one of your CG elements, you're really modifying all of them. And that is the ideal way to work. And then now that we have an understanding of how to work efficiently with multiple CG elements, we're gonna move on to week six, where we're gonna take this a step further and we're gonna have a lot of different interactive elements that are reflecting off each other and casting a lot of lights. And this will be much more complicated. We're gonna end up learning how to do 3D projections and using Nuke's 3D system. And we're gonna learn how to automate some interactive lighting that isn't being done in the render as opposed to animating it by hand. Then in the last two weeks of our class, we're gonna take a look at this shot, which combines a lot of real world elements with CGI to make it look as realistic as possible. There's a lot of new techniques that we're gonna be learning. We're gonna be using new passes that we haven't learned. We're gonna add damage to the ship because it was actually clean on render. We're gonna look a little bit at deep compositing to automate some workflows. We're gonna test how exactly we can use practical fire to enhance our CG fire. And we're really just gonna learn a ton in this last shot. And so it's broken broken into two weeks because it is by far the most complex. By the time this course is over, you'll have a really solid understanding of how Nuke works, not only from a node perspective, but also under the hood. And most importantly, you'll know how to think like a compositor. And that mindset is what's so important when it comes to getting your shots to look as realistic as possible. We're gonna learn a lot of tips and tricks specifically about CG in order to get that looking nice and real, and also how to set up our shots as efficiently and as flexibly as possible. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm really excited to go through this with you guys. Thank you so much for listening and I'll catch you in the class.